anyway, let's do the backlog. 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 Hello, everybody. Welcome. To the How you doing? Hey. This is a show where we uh, go through our collection of games and we pick one at random and talk about it. Regardless, Regardless of whether or not, not we've we played, played it. it. Every game we've ever bought, we have a little Excel spreadsheet that we put them in. So it's like 964 games, people. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what do we want? 964. Oh, you said it already. Yeah. Uh, we want number 122. 122, and that is Batman Forever for the Sega Genesis. Ooh, I played the, the hell out of this, this game. This is one of those games that we played a lot, even though it was garbage. This is one of this those is not perfect a... examples of a game that played as a child. I think I knew it was bad, though. Yeah. Sometimes there were games. I think one of the ones we did was Cyborg Justice. Yeah. And that was a game that I played the hell out of. Didn't realize it was bad until yeah. I went back to play. It was one of the first videos on the channel. I think yeah. it was us trying to play Cyborg yeah. Justice. Um, and that game sucks. Yeah. Uh, this, I knew it was bad when we were playing it. Yeah. There, there's just no getting around it. It's um, it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up, um, which was the style at the time. Uh, but the way they made the game, as you can see on screen, it's... Uh, it's three. It's like pre-rendered. It's, it's like it's, it's the PNGs Mortal, of live action. It's the Mortal Kombat style yeah. where they took footage of like actual like real life actors like movement and stuff and mapped it to combat. But the problem is, it plays like Mortal Kombat. So up is jump. Like the the combat is not like good beat 'em up combat. It's like stiff fighting game combat. So it doesn't really work in like this kind of setting. The the background art is like all 3d and like they put shit in front of you so like you can't really see the foreground and stuff the levels are they're not just like straight you know walk to the right levels they're like labyrinthian they're almost like you know dare i say metroidvania -y. We're like, yeah, yeah but they're levels yeah so it's like weird it, it's hard to tell where you need to go yeah there's no direction uh there are a lot of uh like items and weapons yeah. uh, you get to use a lot of stuff from uh batman's yeah. belt but uh they're all weird yeah and like and janky yeah um maybe i played this game a lot but well we did like uh the batman movies yeah obviously we, we, we yeah were you know fans of that well, this came out up. in 1995 i was how old was i i was like set uh like seven or eight. Oh, this is a late genesis game yeah right? So, like, obviously, like, you know, we're going to want to play the hell out of this. Yeah. You know, it was cool because you could play as Batman and Robin. You can do co-op, you know, or you can do single player as either character, which not a lot of games did. at the, Not a lot of Batman games did. You can see already that there's just a lot of stuff that hangs over in the foreground. Yeah. It's, like, kind of obscures the yeah. game, like, a lot. <laughs> it's not a pretty game. No, it's not a pretty game. It's very strange looking though. Like you yeah. mentioned that this is the Mortal Kombat style, yeah. but it's not exactly like Mortal Kombat. Well, like 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 this Mortal Kombat kind of did a good job with yeah. that style. This did some weird shit. This looks like weird collages. So this game was uh so Mortal Kombat obviously was made by Midway, you know. When it was ported to console, um Probe Entertainment and Long Island Zone Acclaim uh, handled the port job of that. Probe and Acclaim also made Batman Forever. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing they said, hey, why don't we just make it like Mortal Kombat, our most popular game? Well, A, that's not really our game, and B, you can't really do that with you know, a size beat beat 'em up. And of course, Long Island Zone Acclaim, they're like, yes, you can. And that's what they did. Look at what this guy did. How would you ever know to do this in the game? Look, he just enters this room and just, just friggin' grapples up. Yeah, and like, how would you ever know to do yeah, that? Yeah, there's like <laughs> no way to know how to do that. Again, 1995. It's not like there's guides or anything mm -hmm. to like tell you what to do. And, and and I don't know if you've noticed, but this whole game through, this whole gameplay right now. It's been the same enemy every time. Yeah, <laughs> that guy has not changed. Yeah, his I, name's changed. Yeah, but. 
it's been that guy this whole time. Yeah, like the enemy variety, like it changes level to level, but like they're the same enemy type. Yeah. They just have different looks and different walk cycles. Uh, f- yeah, this game was released on the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. We were Genesis kids, so we had that version. Oh, what uh, are we looking at? Oh, this is Genesis. Yeah. 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 How different were the two versions? I don't think they were that different at all. Um the angry video game nerd actually has a video on Batman forever. And like, he actually encapsulates all the problems with it perfectly. So feel free to watch his video on the subject. Cause wow. like the SNES version looks way different. Yeah. I mean, they're, this they're, looks better. Well, yeah, the, the SNES was like a higher spec machine. So like, of course it's going to look better. But the Sega Genesis had blast processor. Yeah. That just made it fast. <laughs> Yeah, look how pi- it's so much more pixelated. Yeah. That's so weird. Well, uh, yeah, so this is a bad game. Is do, it a bad game? Do we have game? any scores for this? Uh, according to Wikipedia, uh, Computer Gaming Monthly gave it a 70 out of 100. Okay. Uh, That's not terrible, here, actually. Uh, GamePro gave it a negative review. They remarked that the graphics are technically impressive, but dull due to their lack of on-screen objects and interesting backgrounds and concluded that the sluggish gameplay... Uh, mediocre graphics and weak sound really kick this cart uh, to the bat curb. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not great. Yeah, there there were some cool ideas with all of the different tools that Batman could use. Like, yeah. I think I just saw him like throw like a sonic boom thing that like makes the enemies go ah, like stuns them. Yeah. Uh, so there was some cool juggling between stuff like that, but for the most part, it was a pretty uh, pretty lame beat them up game yeah, and what's and what i think what sucks too is that like in this era like there were good batman games available uh batman returns on snes was a, was also a side scrolling beat em up but that was fun uh you had the adventures of batman and robin on snes and genesis two very different games with two very satisfying experiences uh and then this game comes along and it's just like let's do what those games did but wrong there have been a lot of bad batman games yeah. i think after this one there was a pretty uh low point in batman yeah <laughs> there was a lot of yeah really there, terrible there wasn't batman really games. a good batman game for a while i know people like batman vengeance i haven't played it yet the batman begins game was okay uh and then we got the arkham games so at least there was that i noticed you left out dark tomorrow we do have there, a backlog episode we have a backlog on dark tomorrow and there's a reason why i left out dark tomorrow <laughs> All right, uh, so I I don't know about this game. Uh, maybe try it. I, you know, I'm getting a little nostalgia from watching this game. Play. There's a lot of nostalgia for it, but like it's nostalgia for all the wrong reasons. You know, like yeah, it's very prototypical of like you know when you're a kid, you have you know you don't have a lot of games, but you have like one or two games that you play all the time, regardless of whether or not they're good. That this is, is a prime example of that. For sure, you know we we had beaten the Sonic games, we had beaten. You know, we played the Mortal Kombat games to death. You know, all the other Genesis games we had, Vector Man, you know, and then here was Batman Forever. Like, okay, we're going to play this game. We're going to keep playing it because this is all we got. Yeah, so uh, maybe don't go yeah. play it. There's plenty of other Batman games you could try. Uh, There's plenty of other Batman games on Genesis you could try. True. Thanks for watching the backlog, everybody. We'll see you at a podcast sometime. And if yeah. you're watching the podcast now, stay here. Everyone else, goodbye. Bye.